Peter Zeeman, Dutch, Zeeman, the 25th of May 1865 to the 9th of October 1943, was a Dutch physicist who shared the 1902 Nobel Prize in Physics with Hendrik Lorentz for his discovery of the Zeeman effect. Topic: <laughs> Childhood and Youth. Peter Zeeman was born in Zonemere, a small town on the island of Schouwen-Duvland, Netherlands, to Catherinus Forendinus Zeeman, a minister of the Dutch Reformed Church, and Wilhelmina Wurst. He became interested in physics at an early age. In 1883, the Aurora Borealis happened to be visible in the Netherlands. Zeeman, then a student at the high school in Zierikzee, made a drawing and description of the phenomenon and submitted it to Nature, where it was published. The editor praised the careful observations of Professor Zeeman from his observatory in Zonemere. After finishing high school in 1883, Zeeman went to Delft for supplementary education in classical languages, then a requirement for admission to university. He stayed at the home of Dr. J. W. Lely, co-principal of the gymnasium and brother of Cornelis Lely, who was responsible for the concept and realization of the Zuiderzee works. While in Delft, he first met Heike Kamerling Onnes, who was to become his thesis advisor. <inaudible> <inaudible> education and early career After Zeeman passed the qualification exams in 1885, he studied physics at the University of Leiden under Kamerling Onnes and Hendrik Lorentz. In 1890, even before finishing his thesis, he became Lorentz's assistant. This allowed him to participate in a research program on the Kerr effect. In 1893 he submitted his doctoral thesis on the Kerr effect, the reflection of polarized light on a magnetized surface. After obtaining his doctorate he went for half a year to Friedrich Kohlreusch's Institute in Strasbourg. In 1895, after returning from Strasbourg, Zeeman became private dozen in mathematics and physics in Leiden. The same year he married Johanna Elizabeth Lebret (1873–1962). They had three daughters and one son. In 1896, shortly before moving from Leiden to Amsterdam, he measured the splitting of spectral lines by a strong magnetic field, a discovery now known as the Zeeman effect, for which he won the 1902 Nobel Prize in Physics. This research involved an investigation of the effect of magnetic fields on a light source. He discovered that a spectral line is split into several components in the presence of a magnetic field. Lorentz first heard about Zeeman's observations on Saturday, 31 October 1896 at the meeting of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in Amsterdam, where these results were communicated by Kamerling Onnes. The next Monday, Lorentz called Zeeman into his office and presented him with an explanation of his observations, based on Lorentz's theory of electromagnetic radiation. The importance of Zeeman's discovery soon became apparent. It confirmed Lorentz's prediction about the polarization of light emitted in the presence of a magnetic field. Thanks to Zeeman's work it became clear that the oscillating particles that according to Lorentz were the source of light emission were negatively charged, and were a thousandfold lighter than the hydrogen atom. This conclusion was reached well before Thomson's discovery of the electron. The Zeeman effect thus became an important tool for elucidating the structure of the atom. Topic. Professor in Amsterdam Shortly after his discovery, Zeeman was offered a position as lecturer in Amsterdam, where he started to work in autumn of 1896. In 1900 this was followed by his promotion to Professor of Physics at the University of Amsterdam. In 1902, together with his former mentor Lorentz, he received the Nobel Prize for Physics for the discovery of the Zeeman effect. Five years later, in 1908, he succeeded van der Waals as full professor and director of the Physics Institute in Amsterdam. In 1918 he published, "...some experiments on gravitation, the ratio of mass to weight for crystals and radioactive substances." In the proceedings of the Koninklijke Nederlandse Academie van Wetenschappen, experimentally confirming the equivalence principle with regard to gravitational and inertial mass. A new laboratory built in Amsterdam in 1923 was renamed the Zeeman Laboratory in 1940. This new facility allowed Zeeman to pursue refined investigation of the Zeeman effect. For the remainder of his career he remained interested in research in magneto-optics. He also investigated the propagation of light in moving media. 
This subject became the focus of a renewed interest because of special relativity, and enjoyed keen interest from Lorentz and Einstein. Later in his career he became interested in mass spectrometry. Later years In 1898 Zeeman was elected to membership of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in Amsterdam, and he served as its secretary from 1912 to 1920. He won the Henry Draper Medal in 1921, and several other awards and honorary degrees. Zeeman was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1921. He retired as a professor in 1935. Zeeman died on 9 October 1943 in Amsterdam, and was buried in Harlem. Topic. Awards and honors Zeeman received the following awards for his contributions. Nobel Prize for Physics 1902. Matucci Medal 1912. Elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1921. Henry Draper Medal from the National Academy of Sciences 1921 Rumford Medal 1922 Franklin Medal 1925 The crater Zeeman on the Moon is named in his honor Topic See also Atom and atomic theory Bohr-Sommerfeld model Fresnel drag coefficient Light dragging effects Topic. References Topic. External links Bertrand, Gabriel the 20th of December 1943b. Allocution. Comptes rendus hebdomadaires des séances de l'Académie des sciences in French, Paris, 217-625-640, available at Gallica. The. Address. Of Gabriel Bertrand of December 20, 1943 at the French Academy, he gives biographical sketches of the lives of recently deceased members, including Peter Zeeman, David Hilbert and Georges Giraud. Albert van Helden Peter Zeeman 1865-1943 in, K. van Berkel, A. van Helden and L. Palm ed., A History of Science in the Netherlands. Survey, Themes and Reference Leiden, Brill, 1999 606-608 Biography at the Nobel e Museum and Nobel Lecture. Museum Borhov Negen Nederlands and Nobelpridgeswinnaars PFA. Klinkenberg, Zeeman, Peter, 1865-1943, in Biographisch Wardenbuch van Nederland. Biography of Peter Zeeman, 1865-1943, at the National Library of the Netherlands. Anne J. Cox, Wetenschappelijke Feiten en Postmodern Fichte in de Wetenschapsgeschiedenis, Inaugural Lecture, 1999. Pim de Bie, Professor Drive. P. Zeeman Zonemer 25 May 1865 Amsterdam 9 October 1943 Gravesite of Peter Zeeman Peter Zeeman, Bijzonder Collectes Leiden. Photo and short info.